This is first cup of tea. When I still worked in an office, I got in pretty early. Not incredibly early. There were usually a few people in the office before me. One of the things that would regularly happen in those early morning hours is that I would get myself a cup of tea and then have a conversation with someone else who was in the office. Usually starting on work-related topics, but then wandering further and further afield, depending on how long it went on. My thought processes are very synthesis-based, so I combined a lot of different information from a lot of different topics in order to to reach the conclusions I reach. The result of this is that, as people who know me personally know, I have a very broad but relatively shallow knowledge base. But it also means that sometimes I need to have a really wandering, meandering conversation in order to get all of my thoughts and all that information out so that it can take the form of a conclusion on something I'm working on. This video series will be emulating that experience to some degree. The videos will typically not be as as free flowing as those conversations. As I've mentioned before, I am a story shaper, not a storyteller. So, because there's no conversation occurring right here, there won't be as much fuel to cause it to go ever further off the rails. But this will be topics where I don't necessarily have a fully formed point, and we will just talk and go where the conversation leads us. Today, we're going to talk about about the resting rating of IPs. What's a resting IP rating? A resting IP rating is the rating that your IP would naturally settle at barring any sort of external forces. I'm gonna use the ESRB ratings. Maybe I'll put them up on the screen right now because these are the ones I'm most familiar with. I'm also gonna pull out the E10 plus rating because that's pretty much only used for kids titles, whereas the E for every one rating is used for broader titles. So that leaves us with E for everyone, T for teen, M for mature, and AO for adults only. You could map this to the Peggy ratings from Europe or to the movie rating systems, whatever you're comfortable with. So basically what I'm asserting is that because of their themes and the basic premises inherent in an IP, there's a natural place that they're going to want to be. So for example, Star Wars, has a resting rating of around a T for teen. You can relatively easily push a game one position out of its resting rating, but going further than that is difficult. So T for teen is actually a pretty good place to be because you can easily imagine an E for everyone Star Wars game like Pod Racer or an M for mature rated Star Wars game. But if you start trying to imagine a Star Wars game or a Star Wars movie that pushes beyond that M for mature into AO, so an ultra-violent or ultra-sexualized Star Wars game, you can kind of feel the IP pushing back against that. It doesn't want to be there. It doesn't want to explore those themes. An IP like Dragon Age has, I would argue, a resting rating of M. The themes around the corruption caused by power or the themes around magic and control of that inherently make this an M rating. IP. Can you imagine a T-rated Dragon Age game? Absolutely, you can do that. But could you imagine an E for everyone Dragon Age game, something set in Magic Academy? No, absolutely not, because in the first chapter, one of these kids is going to get possessed by a demon, and your rating just went from E to M in like one fell swoop. Conversely, can you imagine a Dragon Age game that pushes some of its themes too far and strays into adult-only or AO themes? Yeah, that's pretty easy to imagine. Pretty easy to imagine a game that takes the ideas of control or power or corruption too far and strays into an adult only rating. Despite the fact that all the games are rated M, I actually think that Mass Effect's resting rating is actually T for teen. I think that's great. And let's sort of walk through that. Can you imagine a darker, more violent version of Mass Effect? Yeah, that's that's not too hard to imagine. An M rated Mass Effect. In fact, all the games are M rated. But can you imagine those themes? 
seems pushing even further all the way into adult only or AO. Actually, no. Unlike Dragon Age and like Star Wars, you start to feel the IP pushing back, resisting going into those darker, more adult themes. Can you imagine a game set in the Mass Effect universe rated E for everyone? Something set in a biotics academy or something that's about trading that skirts around some of the themes of Mass Effect. That's actually pretty easy for me to imagine. I don't really have to imagine it. Mass Effect Corsair would have done exactly that, had the exploration and commerce and space parts of Mass Effect, but skirted around some of the deeper themes about the role of technology. If you are creating a new IP, think about this. Think about your resting rating, because once your franchise has started, it can be difficult for you to change this rating. And if you're looking to make something as broad as possible, then you may want to aim for something that hits themes around T for Teen, as opposed to hitting themes around M for Mature. Hey, what did I tell you? We got to a conclusion after all. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.